Hello, hello. Shalom, everybody. Hello. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Monday. Yeah. Week number three. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing, Xavier? I'm pretty good. Nice, nice to hear. Angel, good seeing you. Uh, fine, hi, fine. Good, good. Everything good. is okay. <laughs> nice, nice, nice to hear. Yeah. Nice to hear. Yeah. Let's see. And you was for your weekend. Oh my goodness, it was it was well, you know, I had to work a little bit. Oh really? Yeah, I had to work I think on Saturday. So Friday was okay, Saturday I had to work, and then Sunday off again. So it felt kind of, eh, it was okay, you know? Yeah, well. Hey, you at know. Least rest, rest the Sunday. <laughs> right, exactly. That's, that's exactly how I saw it. And then Sunday is always good to go out because traffic is not so heavy. Yeah. Um, I live in a popa, and they have a Plaza Mundo, a popa now. Oh really? Yeah, man. So it's it open was open now. It was really it's open and it was it was pretty good. Pretty good. I liked it. Really? It was new? No, nothing 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 new or no, or no, nothing same. new. Nothing like new. The, just the other mall. But you know what? It it feels it feels nice because you can actually there's a lot of walking space. Oh okay. so, you, so you can really walk, Angel. If you wanna walk, come to Plata Mundo Popa, you're gonna walk. <laughs> Oh, it, it feels big. And if when it was the, uh, about the Black Friday or the Black Month, like, <laughs> like right. now, then. Yeah, then, there was a lot then, of. Then. There was a lot of people. Uh, low prices. Yeah, there was a lot. Oh, did, right. you, did you buy anything, Angel, for Black Friday? No, no, no. For me, the Black Friday is a lie. Okay. No, it's for me host. too. <laughs> for me too. For me too. I I don't buy it. They're yeah, not gonna. I, the news I hear the news that uh, the Defensoria was uh, is investigating the all the the malls because for this reason. Right, I it's, heard about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're they they suck, man. Yeah. They really suck. Now you know that if you have well in the United States, they say that it is for real. But yeah. in, in the United States, yeah. yes. Here in El Salvador, I don't know. Different story. No, no. Here the people, well, I don't know. I don't know why they they making these things because for me, it's, it's something that don't represent the, something good for for us. Right, right. I agree. I agree. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Saludos. Robert, Roberto Alas, Angel Martinez, Mike, Franco, Alex, good, good seeing you guys. Good evening, Alex. Good evening. Good evening, hey, how are you, good evening, good evening everybody. <laughs> I didn't I know. It. It. <laughs> I didn't know we had two angels in the class. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, great, great. Angel Martinez, really. <laughs> right. Welcome, welcome, Kenya. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to continue uh, with the exercises for conversation and pronunciation. Uh, what I wanted to do was incorporate a little bit of what we were looking at in our website. And then once we review that, we can go over into the lessons themselves real quick and then go back to the exercises that we were that we left off uh so for that mm -hmm. let me go ahead and begin the screen sharing see here. where is the screen sharing oh, there it is. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Wait. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, let me make it a little bit larger, help you out. Okay, so let me go back over here. Let's go into our module. And last week, we were able to complete our midterm. Section three and midterm. The last thing we saw that we were working on was pronunciation, stress and rhythm. And so what we're gonna cover today to complete section three is the adverbial clauses. And then we're gonna go back to stress and rhythm. And once we complete that, when we come in tomorrow, we're gonna start section four. And as you guys can see, section four still focuses on pronunciation, except it, we're going to work on the intonation. Do you guys remember those exercises where you were either rising or falling in terms of the volume? We're going to work on those. And so we're going to practice those as well. Uh, that is something that, that is also part of the rhythm, the intonation, and the stress. Oh, sorry about yeah. that. That was over <laughs> here. That was, that was me. That was a, that was a big quit hit, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big firecracker. It works. <laughs> no, did I tell you guys about the kids blowing stuff up? I did. No, right? no, I didn't tell you that. Yeah, man, they're going crazy. Jesus, we're not even in December yet. Are we in December? No, we're not. Okay. Yeah, it's almost tomorrow. It's, it's almost right. December tomorrow. Shows. Tomorrow is December. A ver, diciembre. ¿Cómo cómo es el dicho? Diciembre. Sorpréndeme. <laughs> surprise me <laughs> Sur surprise me surprise me December all right so remember um section four we haven't gotten there yet but we're almost there we're like we're tipping we're tippy toeing because what we're going to see today is adverbial clauses and then we go and jump into section four all right how many of you guys have covered section three and you guys have been able to complete the knowledge check and you guys are all set you guys are ready? Uh, I don't complete it. I just, uh, let me see, only I have two, two, two parts left. Oh, nice, nice, Angel. Okay, well, well done. Who has already gone to section four and has started working there? Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, sorry. No problem. That was another question over here. Jeez. I'm working on, on section four already. Okay, so you're already on section four. All right. Um, mm -hmm. keep, keep track of the conversations because these are going to pop up, right? They have to do a lot with the pronunciation. Yeah. So keep track of those. All right. Good. Well done. Well done, guys. All right. Remember that there is a portion on the page or the app that says progress. You guys can click there and it takes you and it tells you how you're doing. Oh, my goodness. I'm missing section one. Oh, I got to <laughs> go in there. Section one, section two is at 100. Section three is what we're working on. We have not started section four. I think I went and kind of kind of went over section five and that's why there's a little bit there. Um, mm -hmm. My average is at 38%. I did complete my midterm. I have not started the final. And so I am as an overall in 36%. Oh my goodness, I have this week and next week to finish. Remember, progress, and then you can see how you are doing in each of the sections. All right? Yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and go right into it so that we can start the adverbial. Okay. So we're going to start with our reading exercise for the day. Can everybody see the story that we have for today? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and take three minutes to read the story. And the three minutes are going to start right now.
How are we doing with the story? Everybody okay? Yes, sir. All right. So this one, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to read it to you, and then we're going to switch over to answering the question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my, you know, that la, la voz de, la voz de locutor. All right. All right. One day a donkey found a lion skin left by a hunter. He dressed himself in it and amused himself by rushing out of the trees to scare the animals who passed by. He laughed as they all ran away from him fast. After a few times, he got so excited and pleased to see them all run that he opened his mouth and let out a loud sound, a donkey's brain, a fox who had run with the rest stopped. As soon as he heard the sound, he went up to the donkey. If you had kept your mouth shut, you might have frightened me too. But you gave yourself away with that silly bray. All right. So let me tell you that this word here for brain, I did not know that that was the noise that the donkeys made. You know that, you know, you always say, I don't know, but whenever you talk about a burro, whenever you talk about a donkey, I had never heard anybody say brain until today. And so when, when I was looking at the story, I had to look it up and it's actually the um, you know, the noise that the donkeys make. Brain? Yeah, that, that, eh? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that is called, but now you have to say a donkey's brain. So you have to say either the donkey's brain or the donkey's brain in order for it to kind of fit in together, okay? So that was new for me. Hey, you know, always learning something new. Yes. Yeah, let me it's, go ahead. It's, it's the same for me. What right? about when, when the horse do his sound, it sounds, you know, oh, the, another the, name? The neigh. Yeah, I had, I had heard the neigh. Now, the mm -hmm. reason I knew about that, it was because I was watching a movie and it was closed caption. So in the subtitles, yeah. they see a horse's neighing. And I was like, wait a minute. So every time the horse did the... You know, it would it would say horses neighing. So that's that's how I found out that it was neigh. So I, I'm with you, Alex. I'm with you. All right. So we have the donkey in the lion's skin, which is our story. And so here we go. A donkey found what? Lion skin. Lion skin. Does everybody mm -hmm. agree? Yeah. 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 Okay. As long as I get one or two more, then we're good to go. <laughs> Let me see. Here. Okay. The donkey. What did the donkey do with the skin? Put the skin on. He put the skin on. Put the skin on they say. All right. Yeah. The donkey laughed when. The animals ran away from him. The animals ran away from him. Okay, here we go. He had so much fun that he got excited. <laughs> excited. Okay. Yeah. Everybody else agree? Anybody disagree should be the question. No? All right. Let's go. Yeah, he got excited. When he got excited, he opened his mouth. He opened his mouth. Does anybody disagree with C? Opened his mouth. No. Oh, we, got, we got it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. The sound that came out of his mouth was brain like a donkey. There we go. Brain. Now we know, right? Brain like a donkey because it, it wasn't barking like a dog and it was <laughs> definitely not roaring like a lion. Okay. Here we go. The fox said that he was no longer tricked by him because of 
His boy was not a lion voice. It wasn't a lion voice, right? Okay. Does anybody disagree? No, no, it's okay. No? All right, all right. We agree, we agree. All right. Yeah. all right, last one. The lesson here is... <laughs> mm. Letter B. B? Does anybody disagree with B? No? All right. There, yeah, that's it. Listening to what people says tells you yeah. more about them than the outward appearance. All right. There you go. You know, he had a skin. He could have been a lion. But then he opened his mouth and he, oh, my God, he's a donkey. <laughs> he's just a donkey. Now, I have respect for donkeys. They're hard workers. Okay, so mm -hmm. we have our reading exercise, and we're going to go right into the adverbial clauses. I think we had seen these before. Okay, so adverbial clauses. An adverbial clause functions like an adverb. So you guys, whenever you guys Google this stuff, you guys will also get adverbs come up because they're used the same way, right? They function like an adverb. It gives information about the time, place, condition, reason, manner, or purpose of an action that occurred, and they modify the whole clauses. So some of the examples. I cannot go on holiday because I don't have enough money. So in this particular case, it gives a reason, right? And if you guys can see, here it is, reason, right? I can't go to the beach. You know, I can't go to El Tunco because I don't have enough money. Yeah, there's a reason for not going to El Tunco. She ate as if she were starving for years. This has to do with manners or a manner. No. You should arrive at school before 10.30. Here, we're talking about time. That is the cafe where we held the meeting. So in this particular case, in, the, in this particular case, it's a place. Unless you are too tired, let's go for a walk at the park. This is a condition, right? Si no estás muy cansado, vamos a caminar al parque. Yeah. Let's go to Parque Cuscatlán. I will get up early so that I will see you. This is a purpose. So that. So in these examples, as you can see, we can use because, the reason, as if, which is manner, before, and then the time, right? Where, for place, unless, which is a condition, and so that, as a purpose. Is everybody okay so far? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. So let me give you the definition here. It is a group of words that functions as an adverb and that contains a subject and a verb. And so the idea is that you have when the sun, which is the subject, and then the verb which is rices. So now you put all of these three items together and you have an adverbial clause. And so the idea of the sentence here is when the sun rises, we will escape. Y ahí van para fuera a todos los, todos los muchachos de Marion. Okay. In this particular case, 
we have the other portion, which is also an adverbial phrase. And in this part, the function is the adverb. So it starts off with, we will escape. And now, in the morning is the adverbial phrase. So in this particular case, we have the adverb in the first portion. And what we use is a subject and a verb. In this particular portion, we use in the morning. Now we have normal adverbs and the example here is we will escape and the adverb here is later. And we get another example of we will escape when the sun rises. So what we did is we switched it around and it's still, you could still use it as an adverbial clause. Okay, since we're talking about adverbs, right, quick portion to mention. These are some examples of adverbs of times. Well, you can use points of time, relationships in time, frequencies for indefinite and definite frequency as well. So these are some words we can use as vocabulary as well. So if you'd like, you can repeat after me, or you can leave your phone, your microphone on mute, and just repeat by yourself. Okay, we're gonna review points of time first. Okay. And so this word here, you can say it in a couple of ways, and you, you should be okay. You can say tomorrow, Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You could say tomorrow. Tomorrow. And both ways is okay. There, there is no way for you to get tomorrow wrong. So whether you put the stress in the first portion or in the second portion, you should be okay. Tomorrow. 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 With the sound. Yeah, let me, let me, I'm sorry about guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There was a little yeah. bit of beeping. My God. Yeah. Let it's someone with the mute. It's the mute? Let me see. It's not me. Let me see if it's me. Let me put, let me see if it's no. me. I don't know who is. <laughs> okay, let me put... All right, but I had to mute everybody. I had to sacrifice everybody for that. Sorry. Once again, if you want to repeat, go ahead and put your mic on. If not, you can do it by yourself at home. All right, so remember, you could say tomorrow. You can say tomorrow. 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 It, it doesn't matter. This one, you can't go wrong with tomorrow. You should be okay. Same thing for tonight. 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 Well done. That sounded, you guys sounded pretty good. Tonight. Next one is yesterday. 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 There we go. Put yesterday. a little beat to it. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? There we go. You guys got it. And th these are easier, right? Now. 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 now, then, 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 and of course, today. Today. today, today, today. There we go. Today, well done. Today. today. Do you have class today? Yes, I do. Yeah. I have class today. Okay, so these you can use as points of time. One more time. Tomorrow. Tonight, yesterday, now, then, and today. 
we're moving to relationships in time. Now, these can get a little wordy, but don't worry, don't be afraid of them. Already, already. 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 Mm -hmm. Already. Before. 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 Early. 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 Is the sound, is the sound. Actually. All right. So we have earlier, we have eventually. 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 Nice. Finally. 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 First. 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 Last. 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 Late. 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 Why are you late? Oh, I'm sorry I was late. Later. 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 See you later, alligator. Did you guys ever hear that? <laughs> See you later. Okay, later. Lately. 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 Formerly. So you guys Formerly. Hear that? Formerly, yeah. Previously. Previously. previously you guys got that yeah previously recently recently, recently. Okay. these are a little bit easier just just just, just in time just in time <laughs> some people say just in time some people say just in the nick of time next next Dale next, next. Dele next. Soon. 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 Still. 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 This one, this one, you guys have to do the, the snake thing. Still. Still. There we go. Still. There we go. You got it. Still. Same thing for soon. 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 Still. Still. This one is yet. 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 And now, since. Since. Since I was a boy. Go ahead. I don't know what the, but it, you can use it like that. Since. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go down to indefinite frequency. We're going to start off with often. 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 How often do you ride the bus? Very often. <laughs> Very <laughs> often. Rarely. Rarely. Regularly. Regularly. Yeah. So with these, all you have to do is say the first word, rare, and then li. Rarely. Rarely. Regularly. Rarely. Rarely. Regular. Regular. Regular and then Lee. So it would be regularly. 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 Como mm -hmm. Bruce Lee. Regularly. <laughs> regularly. Regularly. Yeah. Next one is seldom. Seldom. Mm -hmm. Seldom. How often do you go to work? Oh, I seldom go to work. Sometimes. 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 Do you go to work every day? No. Sometimes I go to work. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> you know, we're here every day. And I, and I see regularly here again, but don't, we're not going to repeat it. So we can go to usually. 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 So the word here is usual. Usual. And then you usually. add the you add the Bruce Lee to it, so it's usually, usually, mm -hmm. usually. And then we go into always, 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 always. 
Now we're going to go into constantly. 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 Okay, constantly. Now with this one, it's, it's okay to sound out the T. So if you guys have the T sound, it's okay. Because remember that we're starting out and then the T sound doesn't disappear to, to a little bit more ahead. One, a little bit more ahead. Um, right now, it's okay if you guys say constantly, right? Now, with time, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna stop saying it like that, and eventually, you guys are gonna go into into saying it, you know, a little bit faster and with less of a T sound. So constantly. So you still see, you still hear one, but then the second one, I don't know what happens to it, it disappears. But that's okay. Remember, it's okay. It's it's part of it's part of uh, you know the rhythm. Uh, the tones, uh, the linking, all of that good stuff, constantly. Okay, the next one is ever, easy, ever. 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 Do you love me? Yes, I love you. How much? Forever. I love you forever. <laughs> forever. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. Okay, next one is the word is frequent. And, frequent. Then, and then we add the lee, frequently. Frequently. There frequently. we go. You got it. Frequent and then lead. Frequently. Frequently. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, you don't lose the frequent. You're always going to sound it out. So it doesn't matter how fast you say it. it you guys will always have to sound it out. Because, um, you know, how often do you go to the supermarket? Oh, I go very frequently. So it doesn't matter how fast you talk. That cue will always pop up. Right? So frequently mm -hmm. is okay. Frequently. General Lee. So generally. 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 This one sounds a little bit harder, but remember the word general and then you tack on the lee. General Lee. Generally. General. Generally. And then generally. with time with time you guys will say generally speaking, right? Generally. And it's gonna sound okay. In frequently. Ooh. Infrequently. 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 You got it. Infrequently. Infrequently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never. 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 They have in five balls. Never. <laughs> Never. Next one, normal. And we add the lead. Normally. 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 There we go, normally. And then that one, the same. Normally, normally, and, and no matter how fast you say it, normally will always pop up. Normally, normally. All right, and then the last one is the definite with frequency, right? Definite frequency. Annually. Annually. Daily. 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 How often do you go to church? Oh, I do it. I do that annually. So every year on Christmas, I go to church, right? I do it every year, annually. How often do you go to church? Oh, I go daily. Every day, every day. Ahí está el pastor, guiándome, ¿verdad? Daily. Fortnightly. Fortnightly. El, el famoso fortnight. Fortnight. Fortnight and then Eli. Fortnightly. Fortnightly. Mm -hmm. We have hourly. Hourly. We have monthly. 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 We have yearly. 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 We have weekly. 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 We have nightly. 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 And quarterly, la cora, quarterly. quarterly, quarterly, there you go, quarterly. Okay, so with this one, I, I sounded, I, I heard the year. So remember, it's a year, so we're adding the li, same thing, yearly. 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 And so how do you use it? What's the difference between annually and yearly? Well, when you guys ask for yearly is, for example, if you were going to do a yearly review. Vas a hacer una revisión del año completo. 
So it is a yearly review. Okay. That's the cases where you guys are going to hear it. Now, the last example that we see on here is for adverbial clauses, always using the time clauses. And so here we have, I took a nap after I had lunch. And we have the main clause, the simple past. And then we had after I had lunch. And once again, we use the simple past within the time class. So we have the main clause with the simple past and we have a time clause with the simple past. After I had lunch, I took a nap, right? You can also say it that way. Now it is a little bit different. And if you're gonna use an adverbial clause, you have to use a word, for example, after. So I took a nap after I had lunch. All right, so I have an exercise with this one. I, I believe I do. If not, that's okay. Let me see if I have, oh no, those were the... Okay, you know what? I didn't bring it up because we were gonna use the silence. We were gonna use the pronunciation on these words. And look at all this goodness we have. We have a lot. All right, so there's one exercise on here where I get to say a word and you guys have to tell me if you hear one word or you hear the other word, okay? okay. And so let's start off with some of these. Okay. So these are the vowels, are vowels. These are vowel sounds in words ending in E. So we're gonna work on those. And I want you guys, you guys can repeat on your own, but I want you guys to try to get it, right? And as you guys can see, it tells you how you should pronounce it, right? You have a little, you know, the A and the I, right? The O and the U and the J and the U. So um, let's, let's, let's get started. So here we go. En español, A, E, I, O, U, super fácil, right? In English, A, 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 A. <laughs> Now, you could say it both ways. You can say A, depending on what word you're using, or you can say A. But in this particular case, we're going we're gonna to sound out A. A. A, 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 A. And now we're going to go into the E. E. Here we're gonna use I. I, I. I. Here is a very sounding O. So you have to O. Oh, oh, you have to go. Oh, oh. you, you have to do the whole mouth thing. O. Oh. And then you. 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 Right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So A. E, I, O, U. Okay. We have a set of words. Sound them out yourself. Do them yourself. Great. Great. Rat. Rat, rat yeah, rat, rat. <laughs> All right, so you guys do the first word, second word, pet, pet. pet. third word, Cheat. Pet. fourth word, Not. 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 and fifth word. Cut. 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 Okay. Cut. All right, so this one, this one is very tricky. So let's go. Um, let's see. I want to say it now, and then you tell me. I, well, let me see if you guys can hear this guy. Let me see. Rat. 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 Okay. Did you guys hear the guy? 
Yes. <laughs> it's the mute. It's the mute. It's somebody's mute. All right, here we go. So rat, pet, rat, pet. Sit. 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 Not. 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 Okay. Cut. 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 Yeah. All right, so that, that one's a little bit tricky because there has to be like a little, you know, like a little cat, like a little cut. cut, I, cut, cut. I cut myself. Cut. Cut. Yeah. Cut. Cuando era emo, ¿verdad? Cuando era emo, oh, I used to cut myself. <laughs> All right, cut, cut. How do you pronounce them when they end in E? So here's the thing. If you guys see this word, you actually don't pronounce the E. Okay? It starts, it stops at the T. For example, rate. Great. 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 Pete. 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 Sight. Note. Note. Cute. Cute. Okay. Rate. 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 Pit. Well, in this case, it's Pete. 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 Sight. 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 Note. Note. Hey, ya tenés la note 10. Sí, sí, uh, yeah, I, already, I already have the note. So now you guys can say note 10. Is he cute? Yes. Cute. Yes, cute. he's cute. 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 Okay. So here, the final E is silent, but the sound of the vowel before it change. It makes the vowel before it says its name, like in the alphabet. So, for example, here, rat, but here is rate, here is pet, here is peat, here, sit, sit, sight, not, note, cut, cut, cute. cute. So, I don't know if you guys remember seeing this word. Let me go ahead. Let me type it in for you guys. There's a word that I heard a lot. And you guys tell me how you guys. All right, so who can tell me how to pronounce this word? Sign up. Sign up. Oh, that, that, okay, all right. So now the reason you think that way is because you see this word here, right? So you know. So, right, mm -hmm. because, because we're taking it from a sign. So now what happens here is that it changes a little bit on how we pronounce the I. So it's the same yeah. rule that we're just looking at, right? So yeah. it changes, it changes. So, so while you see this one here, which is sign, eh, ¿qué podemos poner? Señal? O yeah. Sign. We could use that. All right, but you have to be, be you have to be careful on how you use the sign because it's did you sign here would be a signature, right? But if signature. you're if you're driving around and you're looking for a sign, entonces también es una señal. Sí. Una señal, una seña, puede <laughs> ser un, un rótulo, right? We could, we could use it that way. Now, here, this one is, you could say that we could use it in the same way. However, because of the rule with the I, you don't pronounce it sign. 
you have to like. pronounce it signal. Signal. So, right? If we if we want to use the the long e sound, signal. Mm. So whenever you guys see this one here, I want you guys to think signal. I signal. cannot say sign. Signal. If you guys say signal, it sounds bad. Yeah. So okay. Remember, signal and signal. sign. Signal. Signal and sign. Okay. And so okay. it, it kind of takes it kind of takes the that rule that we were working on here. And it has to do with the sound. It has to do with the G that's on there. There's a whole bunch of rules to that little word. So signal, not signal. Okay? Yeah, sound very different. They're, they're, they sound very different. And also people will notice very quick. Okay, so this one, check this out. So this one, uh, I'm going to say it. I want to repeat it. And what happens is it's going to try to listen to see if I said it properly. If I, if I don't say it properly, it will tell me here that I didn't say it right, okay? Okay. okay. All, right. All right, so here we go, here we go, guys, here we go. I wanna put you guys on mute so that you guys can, can hear and see it. Now, if you guys wanna try it out, you guys can load up the live worksheet on your own and you guys can do this exercise, it's really cool. Watch, watch this, guys. I think I'm gonna have to allow it. Wait, wait a minute. I, I, oh. I think I got, I don't know. I, I got it wrong. Hold on. Let me refresh. Late. Oh, you got it. Okay. Meme. Okay. Die. Chuck. Oh, I missed one. Okay. Use. Oh, got it. Okay. So, so this one I did on purpose so that you guys could see. Now you don't say it that way. Let me show you. Let me show you how you say that one. Okay. Late. Meme. Die. Oh. Choke. Use. All right. So with this one, I think that it, it, it read the dies and it has to do with my microphone, but really cool exercise. And you guys could practice it as well. As you guys can see, I, I got most of them. Um, with this one here, este es el famoso meme. El que nosotros decimos meme. But in English, don't say meme. Okay, so if you're if you're talking to your friends and you say, "Hey, man, um, did you see that meme I sent you on Facebook?" They they might not, you know, I don't know, they might not get it, because in English you guys have to say meme, meme, and then that's how and that's how it sounds. Okay. With this one here, what it does is you also have to sound it out. So listen and repeat. Fat. 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 Fate. Fate. Hat. Hate, mad, made, tap, tape, can, cane, cap, cape, gap, gate. All right. Try to do it on your own.
Okay, now we're gonna try with the I. And as you guys can see, you have the I and the A sound. And so with this one, bit. Bit. Bite. 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 Thin. 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 Fine. 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 Kit. 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 Kite. 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 Pin. 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 Pine. 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 Win. 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 Wine. Wine. So, para estas, even though, so the rule, right? If you see an E here, then the sound is if there was an A here, bite. If you guys don't see an E, then it is bit. Bit versus bite. Fin versus fine. Kit versus kite, pin versus pine, win versus wine, okay? So the O gets also a little bit of a treatment there. It starts off with cod, cod. hop, cop, uh, mop. Mop. Rob. Rob. If it doesn't have a knee, then it is more of a cod, right? Cod. Uh, hop. Cod. Cop. Hop. Mop. Mop. Rob. 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 Now, if it has an E, then it changes a little bit. Code. Cold. Code. Cold. Hope. 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 Mope. Mope. Robe. Robe. All right, so it's very tricky because if you can hear it, it sounds like there's a U there. It sounds like there's a code here, right? So instead of just saying cod then it switches over to code code hope cope mope robe you guys do you guys hear the kind of like a u sound to it yeah all right so so keep that in mind now for this one we have a lot more exercises look at that uh we have a couple more exercises and we also <laughs> have the pages once again, you guys can try these out. Uh, let me put it. Let me put it in my. I'm gonna put it in the. In my chat, and you guys can do the little practice yourselves. Uh, let me tell you that it, they come in very handy. Some of these are really cool. Yeah, uh, they're called Life Worksheets.com, and what you do is in the search option. All you guys have to do is put whatever it is that you want to uh, practice. Uh, for example, if you want to practice uh, nouns, I think we did that one before, right? And then there are all the live sheets for nouns. So you guys can do it that way. Another way to do it is you go into the interactive worksheet. And once you get there, you go into the ESL, which is English as a second language. And then here you get a big list of what it is that you guys want to practice. Um, once again, right. this, is, this is up to you, right? Uh, you don't have to do it. But if you want to get a little bit more practice going, that will also help you guys out a lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for us tonight. Uh, please keep in mind that we are finishing section three. Actually, that was it, adverbial clauses of time. We're going to jump to section four. And so tomorrow we start here. Okay? Okay. Sure. Tomorrow. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, 
always a pleasure having you guys in class. Thank you so much for coming in and have a wonderful night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Good night, guys.